All right, let's now get you the latest in terms of what's happened with the Iranian tanker that was detained off the coast of Gibraltar by the United Kingdom. It has now finally set sail out of the British Overseas Territory. Now, according to Rafini Tiv shipping data, the Grace One oil tanker left Gibraltar at about 11 p.m. local time on Sunday evening. The vessel was renamed Adrian Daria One and it was given an Iranian flag. It is not clear as to where the vessel is presently headed to. Now, according to ship tracking services, the Adrian Daria 1 has turned off its satellite tracking system after having left Gibraltar. And this comes after Gibraltar rejected the United States' request to detain the vessel further. Now, the tanker's detention had ended last week. This was after Iran had assured the United Kingdom that the ship's oil was not headed for Syria. However, a federal court in Washington has issued a seizure warrant for the tanker. The warrant has also called for the seizure of the vessel's oil, along with a fee of nearly about a million U.S. dollars. This request was rejected by Gibraltar, but the warrant did delay the vessel's departure. Now, Adrian Daria's release is now expected to pave way for Iran to free British tanker Stena Impero. The tanker was captured in the Persian Gulf last month, and Iran has accused the British tanker of breaking international maritime rules. In the last couple of months, the two tankers have become integral to the escalation between Iran and the West, where Iran effectively had used this present vessel that you're looking at on your screens as a bargaining chip. Meanwhile, 63 people were killed and 182 others injured in a deadly blast that ripped through a wedding hall in the city of Kabul in Afghanistan. Now, the blast happened in western Kabul, a predominantly a Shiite locality, and most of the injured were later taken to a hospital in the city. Now, initially, no one had claimed responsibility for the attack, but now the Islamic State has come forth and claimed responsibility for the attack that took place in Kabul. Now, in a statement, ISIS has said that one of its fighters blew himself up at a large gathering. Now, Afghanistan's president, Ashraf Ghani, has condemned the attack and has also expressed condolences to the victims of the blast. آماج قرار دادن مردم ما در مراسم خوشی، مکاتب، مساجد، بازارها و مکانهای عامه نشان دهنده قصاوت یک گروه حراس افغان است که برای کشتن مردم بیگناه ما کمر بستند. طالبان با نکوهش این حمله نمی توانند خود را تبرئه کنند. زیرا آنان خود فراهم کننده بستر برای فعالیت توریستان Meanwhile, strongly condemning the attack, India has said that the culprits must be brought to justice. Now, the U.S. Special Representative for Afghanistan, Zalmi Khalil Zad, has said that the Afghan peace process must be accelerated to win the fight against ISIS. The reports indicate that the suicide bomber laid explosives amongst the wedding participants and detonated them. People also said that almost about a thousand people had been invited for the wedding ceremony that was underway at the time when the blast took place. Now, the staff could also later be seen clearing up the reception area after the blast. And witnesses have described the chaos and terror after the fatal explosion. I was in the hospital and I wanted to go to the hospital. این امین جدا که میاد گرم شد، دامی گوشا مشاور مقال شد، چیزی دیگه ندیدم. مقصد زیاد زخمی زیاد تخمی دادن. زخمی خیلی زیاد داد. دیگه هر کس دامی رفتن رفتن بود، دیگه یه راه و راه کلگیت نبود نبود. خدا سعی خدا با یک طریق خدا سعی کشیدیم. مقصد پلیس ملیسی چیزا خیلی نواخت ما دام بلونس یک زرای جلتر ما دامو زخمی های که زرای وازش خوب بود میبود. دیگه از پرسنل و تل چند گرسون شاید دادیم زخمی دادیم. دیگه کشت و زخمی خیلی زیاد داد. And also the groom for whom his own wedding day took this very tragic turn has said that he has lost his brother and a friend in the deadly blast. Mama sad said chira bear mama waruzo in left nigaz. Brother am left as beshi. U vatandarem wa yasab ke ba dostem ke ba khushi ma amade bud raft az sim. Sad nafal bigir wa yasab chiraghan kon shara basa shara chi konamish. Chi ba dard ma mekhrabu. امروز 
یعنی امشب شب جشن است بیساب بیسادارا یا بیساب چیا جشن میگیرم اما ما خودم در خانه خود غم دارم چهار تا دوستم غم دارم کلش کراچیوان کلش غریب کار کلش یک غریب پیسدار نمیده ما فلای ما مردم در غریب ما پیسدار نمیده Afghanistan has in fact witnessed a number of deadly attacks since the peace process began last year on the 12th of October the negotiations began in Qatar and since then about 8 rounds of talks have been held the recent round of talks concluded in Doha and both sides have said that they would like to consult their respective leaders on what steps are to be taken next the reports also indicate that the United States may withdraw as many as about 5000 troops from Afghanistan in the near future Now the question of course is what are the peace talks based on the talks are based on four key issues the Taliban will not use Afghanistan as a launch pad to conduct attacks attacks the United States will completely withdraw its troops from the country and intra afghan dialogue and a permanent ceasefire will eventually take place now these are some of the key issues that are being discussed as a part of these negotiations with the Taliban Now, even though for the first time ever the United States and the Taliban seem to be on the road of peace the civilians of course remain on the receiving end of the conflict the reports indicate that at least about 1500 people have lost their lives in July 2019 as many as about 3000 people have been killed or injured just in the year 2019 so far